Okay, so um, this bottom equation doesn't have anything but z plus y minus z plus x divided by y, which cancels out everything but x and y, plus or minus 2ac minus b congruent to c divided by d plus a uh square root e squared and the picture up here doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like but my because I, I use z in the wrong manner but up until z it's it's what it's supposed to look like so it, it's right above up here the whole equation that i'm trying to show you is that this this is what the universe works like and even spooky action at a distance right here can be sent up through the middle of the universe into another spot recycled come out of one end be regurgitated out of an expansion and shot out through another part of the universe even while this this one, this uh, particle, is being used with these three, these other two particles, and there's there's a common force that keeps it structured. And right here, I don't know what it is, but it's probably strong nuclear force. Um, and this is gravity, which is basically a black hole. And the rest of this is a continuum, combined with another continuum, making it making it into a dual continuum. This triangle represents things that are enticed by light. I think, if not light, then just pure darkness and have no, nothing to do with space and time at all. These are two. These are two ways. Of things becoming eternal in a sense of directional representational uh, dimensions so this would be one two three dimensions and this one would be one two three four five dimensions and those well then i guess this this just shows the things that are able to be seen in the universe this triangle shows the things that are able to be seen in the universe if you ever see a double continuum this with this it looks kind of more or less like it would give off a special effect something known as um quantum breaking or, um, I don't know, if, if not quantum breaking, quantum leaping. And then the rest is said. So that's the bottom equation right here. Where it has 2AC at the, near the bottom on both sides. And they would be equal to, the, equal to each other on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that they're equal to each other. They're equal to each other, so then they, they don't have to cross-reference one another. And you can't divide in between the two equations, because there's three equations at the bottom. And I think that that's... Oh, and over here is a wormhole. Wormholes do exist. There are anomalies right next to the fact that it's spooky action at a distance. They do come out of somewhere called... Uh, as soon as you get to right about here, they come back to the force that is pulling its, its way. And the reason why there's two circles here is because there is multiple ways of going in and out of a wormhole. So one way of, if you had been in the wormhole is by exiting out this way and coming out and going around to the passage of the middle of the universe. 
or you go to the rim of the un middle of the universe of the outside of the universe and you just keep trying to fight your way back forward to being where you have to be I think that's all uh, I might be wrong but this might only be half of the universe that we know of and I don't know if this is even a black hole so um, if I'm right, then it, it might it might come out right, but then maybe this is a black hole, and then the wormhole pops out of the black hole for a split second, and then you can for a split second go from one side to the other side of... Maybe this is a weak force, which might be gravity. And then spin backwards up until expansion. And you'd be shot back out this way again and be put into a black hole, which is imminent. So I guess that's, that might be a way of looking at it. And then that's what I think. So uh, this is my work. My name is Joseph. C U A U H T E M O C Alvarez. Yep, there you go. See you guys later.